bring in right now South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. Senator, good to see you. Good morning. G good morning. That's a lot to talk about. That is a lot to talk <laughs> about. Well, that's, I was watching that last night and I thought, wow, this is, there's a lot of momentum around Ossoff, but he couldn't do it. What are your thoughts on what happened? Well, he got about the same vote as Hillary Clinton. So Karen's a good lady. I know her. I live in South Carolina. I speak Georgian. So uh, the bottom line is, is Hollywood versus Georgia. I like uh, Georgia's chances. Uh, this guy is an outsider. He's, you know, carries himself well. The bottom line is I think the, um, it will consolidate around the Republican candidate. Price won the district by 20-something points. Trump by a point and a half. If she can put together the Tom Price coalition, then I think she wins going away. But this is an important referendum uh, sort of on where we're headed um, in the South. You know, when you heard Ossoff talking there a minute ago, he was like, you know, no outside money. Meanwhile, it's all outside money. <laughs> he got $8 million. Right? So I, I don't like understand how he, yeah, came from that Georgia. Circle? Well, he's from it's, the outside. But it's all, it's like Hollywood money and George Soros money, not, not from Georgians. No, I think he got $8 million and like 12, 12 bucks came from Georgia. I mean, it was an unbelievable <laughs> amount of money. So all the mad liberals are sending him money. And here's what I would hope, that people who want the Republican Party to succeed in cutting your taxes and reforming health care and keeping the world from falling apart, you need to send money to Georgia and help Karen handle because she's a good well, lady. That raises an issue because the Democrats want people to think that this was a referendum on President Trump. But is it instead a referendum on maybe Paul Ryan's leadership of the Republican Party? Because if you're saying, hey, vote for Republicans, we're going to cut your taxes and reform health care. Well, that hadn't gotten done yet. No, it hasn't. And actually, right. they're stumbling <laughs> and bumbling in D.C. Well, well, we'll get it done. The one thing I'd say about health care, uh, let it collapse and ask Democrats to help you fix the problem they created. I don't think all Republicans alone are going to fix health care much better than Obamacare. We just, we're divided as a party between Medicaid states and non-Medicaid states. I think President Trump's idea early on was that health care should be bipartisan. It's still the right idea. Uh, when it comes to uh, the Republican Party watching your wallet, and the Democratic Party watching your wallet. If you can't figure that one out, then you're in trouble. Well, then why don't we kickstart the economy, do tax cuts, then worry about health care reform, then tax reform? So just I'm do with you. Just, <laughs> I, I, it's because of but nine hundred billion It's because uh -huh. of nine hundred billion dollars. That's what the president told us last week. We get that, but you but worry about that later. Just do Bush era tax cuts, right? The ten year, and then you get the economy going. Then you can do health care, then tax reform. So you agree with this? I, I agree with. Here's where we're at. We're not going get revenue from a health care bill. We're not going to be able to fix it anytime soon mm -hmm. and take and lower those taxes and have that revenue to work on the tax cut bill. We're not going to do the border adjusted tax because I can't explain it in 30 seconds. That's a trillion dollars. <laughs> so what will we do? We'll actually cut taxes without blowing a hole in the deficit. I believe in dynamic scoring. But if you did, say, 25% on the corporate side, lowered individual rates, cleaned up the tax code, that would be a signal to the economy, along with regulatory reform, that you're back in business. America is a good place to do business. Throw infrastructure on top of it, repatriation to pay for it. Next thing you know, you got a growing economy. But it sounds beautiful on paper, and yet this it is, is not. It is beautiful the way I said it. It's beautiful. It sounds really it's beautiful, but the truth <laughs> is, it's not happening. The beautiful. So belt. I mean, who's going to take responsibility if 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 government gets nothing done in 2017? Oh, we're going to get creamed, and we should. We own the whole thing. So here's what I tell my Republican colleagues. We're not going to get there from here, Republican-only health care reform. Let it collapse, have a bipartisan replacement of Obamacare with the goal of uh, re-energizing the private sector health care markets. That's my number one goal. I don't mind helping people buy insurance who are moderate and low-income Americans. I just want them to buy it from the private sector. More choice, not less. When it comes to taxes, make us more competitive on the corporate side. Mm -hmm. Lower rates the best you can. Don't blow a hole in the deficit. Take the infrastructure bill. Pay for it by repatriating this three trillion dollars overseas, and marry up tax cuts with uh, infrastructure, and you'll get 60 votes. There are plenty of Democrats who would vote for for a tax cut on the corporate side, but they're not going to vote for the board adjusted tax. What about all the deductions? What about the deduction Go into eliminating them and clean the deduction them out. of state <laughs> income income tax, eliminating the deduction on property? Well, let me tell you, from a South Carolina point of view. 
uh, capping or eliminating property tax deductions would be good because y'all are crazy up here in New York. Your property taxes, <laughs> your income taxes are through the roof, <laughs> and red states like mine are subsidizing high tax blue states. Right. Maria, I just wanted to point out there is a report on Axios this morning saying that Gary Cohn has privately said that he is warm to the idea of eliminating the local and state tax deduction to pay for tax cuts. I am red hot on that. Yeah. We red hot on that. You know why? Because it'll make local government and state government act better. Right now, the federal government is basically taking 35% of local taxes and property taxes and letting you write it off at the expense of states like mine who have Right, if your state keeps increasing your taxes because people are like, great, we're going to deduct it against our federal, yeah. so the federal doesn't get it, so then other smaller it's states like, and red it's states like lose. crack so cocaine. It's, yeah, for it's, local yeah, it's government. California, New York, and Take New Jersey. Take it away. Well, you know your colleagues are going to say, look, my people, they pay $25,000 in property taxes. I can't do it. I can't face my constituents if we eliminate the property deduction. You have another fight on your That's hands. That's their that, problem, not the, mine. It's, no, it's different. the people's problem. Because well, you guys don't tell, get anything done. Tell the people up here in New York that you should rebel <laughs> against a, a tax system where you got to pay like $25,000 to own a home. That's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Right. you got nobody to blame but yourself. It, but Stop so looking to South Carolina and fix New York. Carolina? We're should tired we of it. South Carolina? We love New York, but we're not going to underwrite your high taxes anymore. Senator, can... can <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are on your own. This is good. Well, we're all represented by property taxes by and state Democrats. income taxes. Right. Why should I subsidize craziness up here? I'm not going to do it anymore. We in South Carolina, we're taking our ball and we're going home. No more. <laughs> we'll put a cap on it at the minimum. I'd like to eliminate it. That's a lot of money. Well, maybe you need to talk to Governor Cuomo. Call me. <laughs> You're running ads about how great it is to do business in New York. I'm not so sure that those ads are true. Just look at the tax structure in this city. I mean, you got to make a million dollars to live here. Uh, how do firemen and policemen and nurses and doctors? Yeah, uh, and they only keep going up, and we're not here. seeing the benefit of it. And businesses just, yeah. are leaving. People are leaving to go down south. When you uh, you know judge the segment of where, where people are going. Everybody doesn't talk like me, but most do. <laughs>